This is a deep learning video on must-read papers on GANs from Henry AI Labs. Generative adversarial networks are one of the most interesting ideas in deep learning, showing how you can generate never-seen-before images from completely random vectors. The first paper in the list is DC GANs from Alec Radford et al. This paper builds on the original GAN idea by showing how you can use upsampling convolutional layers in the generator and regular convolutional layers in the discriminator. This extends the architectural and like the you know, neural network complexity of the GAN models individually, as well as uh, proposing these additional guidelines for building uh, convolutional generative adversarial networks. These include things like using batch normalization, as well as ReLU and leaky ReLU activation functions. Following the DC GAN paper, the second paper on our list is Improved Techniques for Training GANs from Tim Salomons et al. This, uh, this paper uh, proposes some heuristic ways of improving the DC GAN training. These include feature matching, where instead of just trying to directly, the generator, instead of just directly uh, minimizing the error on the real versus fake from the discriminator, it tries to match the internal activations on the discriminator of real images. The mini batch discrimination uh, is the idea of having some kind of additional feature map that corresponds to the batch statistics of the generated and real images. Historical averaging just makes sure that you know one faulty uh, parameter signal from the like gradient signal from the discriminator doesn't change the parameters of the generator too much and vice versa. One-sided label smoothing is just to uh, prevent overconfident predictions in the discriminator. And then virtual batch normalization is use a reference batch for the gains and bias parameters of batch normalization, and this is done to reduce the internal uh, influence that batches might have on each other during generation. So the third paper in this list is conditional GANs. Conditional GANs is one of the most interesting ideas in GANs, showing how you can use supervised learning in this framework. So what you do is you would concatenate the one hot class label, such as if it's CIFAR 10, you know, like the 1000 indicating that it's a truck image, and then 01000 indicating it's a car image. You discriminate this into the intermediate activation and control the output of the GAN. So following this is the progressive growing of GANs. This is a really interesting paper that became uh, really popular because it showed how you could generate high-resolution celebrity faces, which is a really unprecedented thing that some people couldn't believe that the, paper, the uh, faces don't really exist and they're completely uh, generated by these deep learning models. So the idea here is that you can take the high-resolution problem and you can decompose it into the substructures of low resolution because there's a ton of correlation between a 1024 by 1024 image and its downsampled low-resolution counterpart. So what they do is they progressively fade in the layers, use, and then they use other tricks such as uh, a mini batch standard deviation layer, uh, a feature map, uh, equalized learning rate, and pixel-wise feature normalization. So the next paper is Big GAN. Big GAN is one of the state-of-the-art models taking ideas such as spectral normalization, class projection and discriminator, and self-attention, and scaling it up and making, you know, doing things like doubling the filter maps. Uh, increasing the batch size and other things to create these really incredible image net, image net generated images. Following this, another uh, paper that's regarded as one of the state of the arts is StyleGAN. StyleGAN uses the same progressive growing model, but they switch from mapping from the latent code directly, and instead they start from a constant learned value. So the way they use the latent code is borrowed from style transfer literature. And this idea that you can use adaptive instance normalization to control the style of generated images. And this has some really amazing results in the latent space interpolation. The next paper on the list is PsychoGAN. PsychoGAN builds on the idea that if you go from French to English and then English to French, you should be at the same sentence. So they apply the same concept to further structure the adversarial loss in image to image translation tasks such as zebra to horse. Following this is uh, Pix to Pix. This is another really popular paper in image translation. Uh, they have other interesting ideas, like little idiosyncrasies for doing image to image translation, such as using uh, 70 by 70 windows in the discriminator. And then another idea is StatGAN. StatGAN follows the same uh, multi scale philosophy of you know, breaking down the high resolution task into 64 by 64 up to 256 by 256. In addition to the stage one, stage two process, they also uh, apply, they add this uh, multivariate Gaussian to uh, smoothen out the discontinuous text embedding space. This overall uh, is really influential for stabilizing GAN training. And then finally in the list is generative adversarial networks, the original paper from Ian Goodfellow. 
This paper provides a fundamental understanding of the algorithm, as well as other interesting ideas such as uh, non-saturating loss functions. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out henryailabs.com for more deep learning papers.